<laughs> I got you, didn't I? No? Okay. Anyways, so I decided to voice over the rest of the video since it's pretty much the same things. I don't, don't feel like repeating all the text again. I'm really tired. So I'll just play the video right now and I'll voice over what I did, explain to you guys really quickly what I was going for. Okay, so here I took the CC that I had already done and changed a bit the filter since I didn't want the hazy look on this uh, CC. So you see me deleting the haze slash flare effect here and adding film negative and film print. I added these two effects since they changed the colors a bit and I need the red to be a bit more uh, vibrant to pop up more. So I went through the presets till I found the one that I was looking for and the film print that I picked was uh, because of the uh, blue, the blue on his hair and uh, on his clothes really matched. It was uh, different from the skies. Now for the colors, it was just desaturating all the, of the colors and leaving the red. So I just uh, used HSL colors and some curves. Uh, you'll see me desaturate a lot of the colors and that was the point. I just left the red in there. I changed the hue of the blue also. And at the end you'll see me duplicate the detail preserving upscale. And that's because when I saturated the red too much, uh, there was a lot of noise. Okay, so same exact steps. I took the original CC. This time I left the haze filter. For the colors I wanted to desaturate the purple in his hair and make him more tan. So I added HSL colors. I didn't use uh, curves because I only wanted to bring out the shadows that were in the background. So I used shadows slash highlights. I added three LUT just to change the colors a bit, getting what I had in mind. Uh, chromatic aberration, I thought that would look cool. Uh, Moja again, picked one of the presets. Here you see me desaturate the purple and the pink in his hair. And same as before, I just picked some presets from the LUT and changed the strengths if it was too harsh. And yeah, that's basically it. It doesn't get more simpler than that. You always need to have a picture in mind of what you're uh, going for. And yeah, nothing is impossible. I hope this tutorial helped you guys. If you have any other tutorial ideas, tell me down in the comments. And go follow my Instagram. I can interact with you guys on there. And yeah, I hope you have a great rest of your day. Peace.